everybody, Pat Huntoon here with Technique Junkies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, Shimmering Bliss on one of our current stamps, the Vintage strip, Script Collage. I am discontinuing Shimmering Bliss in my store, the Technique Junkies Shimmering Bliss, um, as a product line because of a variety of reasons, but they are on closeout right now. They are half price on my site, so um, please get them while they're hot. But I'm going to show you how to use them there are limited colors available. So I'm actually just going to show you three colors that I have here. Harvest Sunset, which is this almost golden color. I'm going to be using Chestnut Mare, which is a reddish brown, and Smoldering Ash, which is a purpley gray. Okay, so these two colors I like to use as vintage colors to show vintage projects. Um, they, they work really nicely together. So I am what I've done is I've taken the Vintage Script Collage and I've simply stamped it with VersaFine in Black Onyx um, for this, just to show you how it works over, on over these. So when you use these, any of these, you actually roll them between your hands like this. Anytime you have something with shimmer in it, it's a good idea to do this. This way you move the shimmer around off the bottom so you can see all the shimmers on the bottom here. So if it doesn't have a uh, BB in it, you need to uh, mix it. So we're gonna mix that up like that. Maybe a little more until you don't see that ring of mica around the bottom. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going right down to the cardstock. My fingers are actually touching the cardstock. I'm gonna lift it up maybe an inch. And then I'm going to spray very close to that cardstock because I wanna get a nice, even application of that. So I'm going to put that one in the middle. I'm gonna put the chestnut mirror around that. You notice I'm not spraying into a box. I'm just spraying on a paper towel, which is on top of a piece of scrap paper. And then I'm going to take this smoldering ash and just put it right around the edges there. So I have allowed this to puddle a bit. And I'm just using regular cardstock on this one because I want to want to be able to have the colors kind of stay put and not blend together. So I'm just gonna let that sit for one minute and then maybe tap a little bit off the edges here. Take that away. And I could do one of two things now. I could tap this off, but if I tap this off, I'm going to lose all that beautiful color that's on there. Or I can use a heat tool to dry it. So let me dry it with a heat tool as it stands right now and come back to you. Okay, so I've dried that front top and bottom with my heat tool, and you'll notice that it looks a little crooked, just a little bit. Um, and I did do the front and the back with my heat tool. There's two ways, three ways really, that you can straighten this out. You could stick it through a laminator with paper around it and stick it through your laminator and the heat will help flatten it out. You can put it through your Big Shot and add pressure to this and that will flatten it out. And then the other thing is you can put it in your bum oven, which means that you just, put a paper towel around it, and then put this between your thigh and your um, chair, and that will help straighten it out. The heat of your thigh will help straighten that right out for you. So I am going to do this, cut it down, and show you the finished project. I just wanted to show you how shimmery and beautiful this is. It is so pretty in person. It's got the reds and the browns and the lightness in the center, and yet it still picked up the purple around the outside edges. So it's a beautiful way to make a vintage looking item, just with a couple of uh, sprays. So that is our tutorial today. I will uh, put the vintage script collage in with the three sprays we used into a little kit um, and reduce the price even more. But I would strongly suggest you take a look at the shimmering bliss before they're gone because once they're gone, they're gone. So, um, and they're $2.99 right now, which is a really good price for them. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching today.